I'm back. I'm at mile marker, no pun intended, 666. Mile 666. I uh, have been off trail for 16 days. If you saw my last video, I was in bad shape with my feet. I should have replaced those shoes 100 miles earlier. Uh, I have now <sighs> these Solomons, Solomon Speed Cross. They have a zip tie shoelace. The ankle is higher. It's not zero drop, but I have a fresh pair of super feet insoles that don't smell like stank. Thanks for sticking with me on this. I'm not your fastest hiker. I had some issues going on, some personal issues going on back home, and I just needed to take a break, and I figured it's a lot cheaper for me to invest my money in going back home, which meant if I do go back home, I will be gone for a couple weeks, but I had to take care of some things back home, but I was also saving money. Part of the reason is because sometimes you just need a break. I'm glad to be back on trail. I was back in Ohio, in Columbus, and I knew I needed a break. I was having a really bad day, and that was day 62. So from day 62, day 63, here, I'll, I'll start walking here. I got off trail at mile 664, and I just started walking, I was pissed. Nice campsite here at 666. If I would have stayed on trail, I would have posted up here, but I was, I had a bad day. My first real bad day. Now I had the option to go back home to Ohio and take a real break. Apparently that's what I needed. I was getting fed up with putting my money into hostels. I needed to take a real break and I did. Yes, I'm far behind, and you might think, am I gonna make it to Katahdin in time before Katahdin Baxter State Park closes? We'll see, we'll see. I'm just glad I was able to go back home, replenish these things right here. As you saw, I had blown out the pinky toe in those ultras. Worsper. I've been thinking about this shelter and making it to this shelter for 16 days now. Yeah, 16 days. I've been thinking about making it to this shelter, Worsper. It's a good day to be back on trail and I'm, I feel so happy and lucky that I have the opportunity to come back. Needed to take a break, had to take care of some business. I'm back on trail. Thanks for taking time to watch me on this. War spur has been on my mind for uh, just over two weeks. But when you got to take care of business back home, you got to take care of business back home. Moving beyond war spur. It's been a long time coming. I don't have the same energy. <clears throat> that I had before. I thought I would have the same energy that I had before. These uh, solemn speed crosses are not working out for me. I can't find that mojo I had before. not good it's not good I should not be going this slow my girl just dropped me off I'm having having bad thoughts 
it's it's not good I just got back on trail this last nine miles has been man I I do apologize I just lost my mojo I should not be going this slow I'm in extreme pain right now. My legs and my feet. I'm in extreme pain. I can't even. Not good. Not good for me. I have no energy or drive. I don't know what's up with me. Everything's painful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm giving it that look, ain't I? You know when somebody's about to quit, when they start looking off into the distance, just like what I'm doing. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm looking up. My body is... I don't know what happened. To, my body is... Like, done or something. I, I... I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. Feeling dead tired is not the way I want to feel coming back to the trail. Hmm. Did I make a wrong choice with these shoes? Speed Cross 6. They're great at home, but my legs feel weak. My ankles feel weak. What is up with me? I, I apologize. I'm in some pain. I can't even go downhill proper. Oh, something's wrong with me. I shouldn't be feeling this much pain. I really do not think these shoes were a good choice. I am sorry. I apologize. I'm struggling. Just to get downhill, something's just wrong with my legs and my feet. I think you know what's happening. I think you know what's happening. I don't know. Ah! Yeah, yeah, that's real. That's real. <sighs> I'm so upset. I'm in severe pain right now. Yeah, I, I, I'm in severe pain right now. Every step down is, is so tough right now. Oh, I'm sorry.
I didn't think, ah, I didn't think this would happen. Um, I'll just make it to the next shelter. I'm injured. I'm injured. So yesterday I had my, my woman drop me off 11, 12, 13 miles back. I uh, had taken a couple weeks. Uh, I went back home for a couple weeks and I felt like I needed a break and I got back on trail and yeah, I just, uh, I think I lost my trail legs. I picked the wrong shoes. These speed cross sixes aren't for all day hiking, no. Uh, but I, I picked the wrong shoes and I just, um, I lost it. I, yeah, my body is not acting the way it should be. I'm in some pain. Um, I, I don't know what to say. My girl's picking me up at the trailhead. Bless her heart. I just think it's time for me to hang it up. I'm not feeling it. I thought I would get back and my mind would be different, but I'm just not. Not feeling it. Two through hikes in a row that I attempted, I become another statistic. As I look out over these pastures, knowing it's my last day of this through hike, you could understand a fellow would feel some sort of way, but I'm hanging up my guns for this through hike. Like I said, your mind's got to listen to your body, and my body was telling me some things two weeks ago. My mind didn't want to accept it. I come back out here with the wrong shoes, which didn't help. I got that look. I'm looking, looking up into the sky. You know, it's it's that look. Hikers get that look when they. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I I apologize. I. Yeah, I'm at the trailhead on the side of the road. Mile 678. <clears throat> Waiting for my girl to come pick me up. Might as well cook. I've had my fun. I'm hanging up my guns. Not forever. I want to keep this channel up for when I come back and start again from this point as a section hike. There's those of you who I want to share this journey with, even if it is just in sections. <laughs>